Webradio TV'den merhabalar. Ee, gamification yani oyunlaştırma kavramı son günlerde çok popüler. Siz de duymuşsunuzdur sık sık. Ee, dünyada bu konuda uzmanlaşan e, ismi geçen firmalardan bir tanesi Belgeville'in EMEA Bölgesi Genel Müdürü Scott Schnars e, Türkiye'ye de gelmişti. Biz de kendisini Pixel Plus makusunda yakaladık ve konuyla ilgili görüşlerini almak istedik. Hello, thanks for joining us Scott. Hey, thank you very much for having me. Uh, okay, uh, could you first of all tell us about Belgeville? Sure. Who are you? So Badgeville is the global leader in gamification. Mm -hmm. We were founded about two years ago, mm -hmm. and since then we've had meteoric growth. We've got about 200 customers now. Mm -hmm. uh, we've raised over $40 million dollars in venture funding over the last uh, 20 months or so. Mm -hmm. and, our, and, and I guess our, our customers include Deloitte, Dell, mm -hmm. uh, IBM, American Express, some very big names as well as early stage startups. So what's the final uh, valuation of the company? Uh, that's not something that we disclose. <laughs> yeah, well, you have 25 million dollars, so you don't disclose it. We don't disclose it now. So what do you do? Or what is the the value added yeah, by so, Badgeville so, to so, the company? So what Badgeville does is we take a look at the existing experiences that a company already has on its website mm -hmm. um, and we look at the behaviors that are most valuable to our customers. In the case of somebody like Samsung, a valuable behavior was registering a product and writing a review. In the case of Universal Music, valuable behaviors were wanting getting uh, users to explore other users. We look at the behaviors that are most valuable for our customers and we create experiences that drive more of those behaviors. And there's a lot of ways that you can influence behavior. Gamification is one of them. Mm -hmm. Reputation is another one that drives behavior for a much longer term um, and social mechanics is something that we're introducing now which is where you can leverage similar mechanics from Facebook like real-time activity streams real-time notifications and the ability to follow people and objects mm -hmm. into your overall experience essentially creating an experience where you own the data you own the entire user mm -hmm. experience and you own all the user data that's coming out of that so you know it, it really takes uh, social networking and creates and, and puts it into an experience that you own everything as the uh, as the content holder. Mm -hmm. So could you please elaborate a little uh, your uh, your scope about gamification and um, starting with the definition of game sure, gamification yeah. uh, for 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 our uh, viewers who don't know. Yeah, interestingly enough, uh, it's it's uh, so when I think about gamification, I think about taking the same game mechanics that Zynga uses mm -hmm. to get people to plant fake corn for four hours a day. Let's use those same mechanics to get people to do things that are more valuable to you as a company. So, again, in the case of somebody like Universal Music, mm -hmm. we created a fan program to identify who the top fans are of particular artists. Mm -hmm. They created, they, they used game mechanics to influence that behavior so that people are interacting with the bands more frequently in order to build up a status of being the biggest fan of, say, LMFAO, who's one of their top artists right now. Mm -hmm. And you're based in London and uh, uh, so our, an American company yeah. by our, 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 our headquarters are in Menlo Park, California, right outside of mm -hmm. San Francisco. Our offices in Europe are in London. Uh, so you're expanding in Europe and now you're in Turkey and yep. uh, obviously you're planning to expand in Turkey and the region. Uh, what do you think about the region? What, what are the, the prospects? So, so, the, the, so I, I, I really think that there's a tremendous amount of opportunity here. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's, a, it's a wealthy com a country. It has a lot of large branded companies. Mm -hmm. um, it's a very populous country. Um, when you combine those three things, when you get a marriage of those three things, you really get a great market for an early stage company coming into a, uh, coming into a region. Uh, and uh, you're working with Pixel Plus? Could you please yeah. tell us about the scope of, of yeah, your Yeah, we're, we're, we're very excited about this. So um, I mean, one of the things that was explained to me when I was considering moving to London, somebody said, hey, you can't do it all by yourself. You're going to have to find key partners. Um, and in, in the early days of my decision making of coming to mm -hmm. London, I was scouting out who some of those key partners could be in mm -hmm. key countries, including Turkey. Um, you know, Pixel Plus consistently came to the top of the list of things mm -hmm. that I was looking for. They're a, a long-standing agency in the region. They have fantastic relationships with some of the biggest brands in the country. Um, they're certainly in language, and they can help us to expand into into the region a lot faster than I could do it on my own. And uh, also about the implementation of gamification projects in yep. Turkey. Maybe you've studied some of them. Could you please share us, for example, uh, our best practice you've seen in Turkey uh, you, you, you know, the successful? You know, I think one of, one of the, the, the challenges that a lot of organizations have is in the early days of gamification. They felt mm -hmm. it was just putting a game 
uh, onto their website. Um, if I put an Xbox into the break room here at Pixel Plus, we haven't gamified work. Mm -hmm. What we've done is we've distracted from work. And, and I think what Pixel Plus brings to the table is a different viewpoint on that. And how can you create an experience that ties into the existing context of mm -hmm. a site and of a digital experience so that you're not taking away from that context, but you're really enhancing it? Okay, let's talk about your impressions about the Turkish market in terms of gamification or in general. Yeah, so in, in, both, in terms of both gamification and in general, I'm very enthusiastic about the, the Turkish market. Again, you've got some of the biggest brands in the world are either have a significant presence here or headquartered here. Um, the number of people that we have the ability to influence is enormous. Um, I've been here now a couple of days with the guys at Pixel Plus. We've been to a bunch of meetings and everybody's very enthusiastic about it and we're reaching the point now where we're starting to kick off some, pro some big name projects mm -hmm. which will be rolling out between now and the end of the year so it's going to be some exciting announcements. Okay, final question. Yeah. Why is gamification so important? Um, behavior, gamification is all about behavior management, right? It's, it's all about let's, um, let, let's change the attitudes of people so that they behave in ways that are most valuable to your business, right? And as a, as a company, we believe that the best way to influence your business is to influence the way that people behave. And gamification is one element of that, and like we were talking earlier, social mechanics, reputation mechanics, or other elements to influence the way that people behave, mm -hmm. ultimately getting them to do things that are most valuable for your business. Mm -hmm. Okay, thanks a lot for joining us. Hope to see you again in Turkey so often. Great talking with you. Okay. Thank you very much for the time. Yeah. Appreciate it. Yeah.